Hey, if you just broke your glasses or they're slightly bent and need an adjustment and you can't find your way to an optical, this video is gonna show you how to fix broken glasses at home. Let's take a look. Hey, what's up? This is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. And if you wear glasses or you're just interested in learning this type of stuff, then make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my future videos. Now, before you try and adjust or fix your glasses on your own, I must say it is best for you to take your glasses into an optical where a trained professional optician can adjust, fix your glasses for you, rather than you taking the risk of potentially breaking your glasses and making them worse. Most opticals do offer free adjustments adjustments or repairs, or maybe for just a minor charge. Now, with that being said, if you live far away from an optical or you're stuck at home, then this guide will help you through it. Now, the first thing I like to do is to adjust the temple arms back into place. If you have a metal frame like these, it's usually done pretty easily just by applying pressure to the metal temple of the frame and just bending it back to where it needs to be. But be careful not to push from the far end over here because that's gonna put extra strain onto the hinge and that's usually where most people break their frames. Instead, try to apply pressure right near the hinge and do it slowly, that way you don't break or snap off the temple arm. Better yet, instead of using your hands, grab a needle nose pliers. Then you can actually apply the pressure in more specific pinpoint places. A cool pro tip is to use a lens cloth and wrap it around the needle nose pliers. And then you can use that lens cloth and apply that to the outside area of the frame. That way you don't scratch or mess up the outer coating of the frame itself. But again, with that needle nose pliers, you just apply pressure to the spot where you need it and you can make really fine tuned adjustments. Now this also works for adjusting the plastic frames using the needle nose pliers the same exact way. However, plastic frames need to be heated in order to adjust them. That's where a lot of people end up breaking or snapping their frames. In the clinic, we have these neat air heaters that'll heat up the frame so we can easily bend them. But at home, you could also run your frame under hot running water or use just a hair dryer to basically spot weld where you need to adjust the frame. But be careful not to give too much heat to the frame, otherwise you could melt part of the frame. Also, be careful not to give too much heat to the lenses as the heat could warp any special coatings on the surface of the lenses. When this happens, we call it crazing of the lenses. But again, after the acetate plastic has been heated up, you just apply pressure with your hands or with the needle nose and it'll bend back into shape. But still only apply a little bit of pressure at a time because it is possible they could still break. Now listen up, because this part is really important. If you do end up breaking or snapping your frame, do not use super glue to fix it. A little known fact is that if you do use super glue on your glasses and you have any warranty on your frame, you will void the warranty. Only use super glue as a very last resort when you know you're gonna be buying new glasses. It is way better to try to use tape to fix these problems. I'm using painter's tape here. However, from our experience, using electrical tape seems to work the best. Hey, if you're learning new things and getting value out of this, smash that like button for me. Otherwise, let's keep going. Now, sometimes one of the issues is just that the hinge is very loose or perhaps one of the frames fell out and you need to tighten the screws again. Now, to do that, you will need a miniature type of glasses screwdriver. They have lots of different ones of these. You can find them at the dollar store near kind of the glasses section. Otherwise, you can also buy them online. I'll include some links in the description below if you want to find a link to those special type of screwdrivers. But for the most part, it's just a matter of lining up the screw head and actually tightening that screw. But it's important to be careful because if you apply too much pressure and your hand is underneath the screwdriver, you could end up skipping off of the screw and stabbing yourself in the hand, and you don't want that. Now, if your temple does break or fall off and you lose the screw and you can't find it again, I know they're really tiny, they're really hard to find sometimes, but if you're in that situation, you can use a toothpick and jam that into the hinge and then break it off. They'll at least jam up the hinge so it'll hold its place. Otherwise, you can use dental floss and thread that to the hinge as well, and then you can tie that off and that'll at least get you by until you can get back into the optical to get that screw replaced. If one of your lenses did pop out, then with a plastic frame, you simply push it back from the back side and snap it back into place. It may take a little bit of effort. And for a metal frame, you may have to tighten a screw to get it into place. Now, if you have a semi-rimless frame, these are the ones that don't have a frame that goes all the way around it. Instead, they have this little string of nylon holding the lens. 
If your lens did fall out and you need to get the lens back in, it can be a little tricky. So this is how you do it. Now in the optical, we have these tough little plastic strips that we use to loop around the nylon string to hold it in place and then drag it onto the lens because on the edge of the lens, there is a little ridge where this nylon slips into place. If you don't have something like this at home, you just need to find something thin and tough. You could use fishing line, for example, or again, you could even use dental floss. Otherwise you try to line the edge of the lens onto the frame and then you slide your little helper around the nylon and then you drag the nylon over the edge until it snaps right back into place. And then you simply pull the plastic out from underneath the nylon. Now, if your glasses are just a little bent and out of shape, here's a few tips that'll help you get through the whole adjustment process. The first thing you want to do is put your frames on and kind of feel how they're sitting. Are they feeling a little too tight behind the ears, a little bit more on the left, a little bit more on the right, or are they falling down your nose and they need some sort of adjustment there? If your glasses just seem a little out of place, then just bending the temple arms a little bit in opposite directions should level things out. If you're somebody who's just completely lost, you could also try the tabletop test. That's where you put your frame on the table and you can touch the edge of the frame and see that they are not in balance. Then again, it's just a matter of bending them back into place so that they rest evenly on the table. However, keep in mind that when you put them on that way, they are unlikely going to sit correctly because nobody's ears are perfectly symmetrical. One ear is usually a little bit higher than the other. That is very normal. So when you get to this position, it's pretty normal to expect you may have to make some micro adjustments. To do that, check in the mirror or have a friend kind of confirm with you where they're sitting and that they're sitting level. If you're finding that your frames are constantly sliding down your nose, then you may need to adjust the temple frames right around the ears. But again, if you have a plastic frame, heat that up. Otherwise, with the metal frame, you can just bend with your thumbs right around the earpiece there and bend that down so it loops behind your ear. That way, both sides will act like hooks, so when you look down, it'll just hold onto your ear instead of sliding down your nose. Now, if you're getting a lot of pressure or headaches behind your ears, or the frames are still sliding down your nose, it could be that the backside temple here has been pushed inward too much and are rubbing on the back part of your skull here. What you can do then is, again, push on the temples and splay them out just a little bit. But again, you don't want to go too far. Now, if you have a frame that has nose pads, then you may need to adjust those as well for a proper fit. Again, you can use your fingers, but it is often best to use some type of a pliers if possible. Oftentimes, if the frame is sitting too low, that means your nose pads are too spaced out and you need to turn them more inward. Same thing, if they're sitting almost too high or if they're pushing on your nose really hard, then you may need to bend them just the opposite uh, outward just a little bit. If your nose pad did fall off, you can usually push that back in or tighten the screw to hold it in place. Or if you did lose it completely, then you may need to use tape on there as well, just to get you by again till you can get into the optical to get it replaced. Now, another thing to keep in mind is how the bridge of the frame has been bent. That's the part right between the nose. If that has been bent, it could cause a face form tilt or a face wrap around your face. And that can induce unwanted amounts of astigmatism correction and that can lead to headaches as well as kind of a kind of motion sickness sort of feeling while wearing the glasses. So to fix this it's just a matter of bending the frame again in the opposite direction. So hey hopefully now your glasses are repaired and back to working order. So I health question of the day. Which part of this video did you find most helpful? Go ahead and comment section below. Also include any other tips or recommendations that you would have about adjusting or repairing glasses. Now that we've repaired and adjusted our glasses here at home, now we need to go over how to clean our glasses. So to check out that video, go ahead and click or tap the screen over here to the side. Or if you'd like to see another cool video from Dr. Eye Health, go ahead and click or tap the screen down over here. Again, this is Dr. Allen here from Dr. Eye Health, helping you learn about the eyes and vision. Keep an eye on it, and we'll talk to you soon.